it's Dr. Manali. Today we're we'll talking about which vitamins do you really need? Um, which ones do you need for beautiful hair, beautiful skin, to give you more energy? The truth is you probably don't need most of them. Most vitamins most people are taking, they don't really need. I know it can be really appealing because your favorite influencer might be taking them. Um, you may really want beautiful skin and beautiful hair and more energy. The marketing is really great. The advertising is really great. The branding is really great. Um, and a lot of times vitamins and minerals now um, come in packaging, you know, that makes them look like candy or they even taste like candy. Um, so it all makes it very appealing, but it doesn't make sense to be randomly taking vitamins and minerals. Realistically, if you have a solid plant-based diet that ideally is 50% fruits and vegetables, um, then you're going to be getting enough vitamins and minerals from what you're eating. And studies show that um, taking vitamins and minerals in a pill or liquid format um, aren't actually uh, absorbed as well as eating the foods that have the vitamins and minerals in them. Um, so you're best off actually eating the foods that have the vitamins and minerals. Now there are a few exceptions and I'm going to talk about those. The first exception is vitamin D. Now that you absorb from the sun, so if you are using sunblock, which you should be to prevent um, skin cancer, or you're darker skinned, or you don't get out in the sun enough, then um, you may be vitamin B deficient. Studies show that um, at least 50%, if not more people, are vitamin D deficient. So likely you may be vitamin D deficient. Um, that doesn't mean you should run out and just randomly be taking it. You should know what your levels are because that determines how much vitamin D you should take. It's not necessarily what's on the bottle. It's actually based on your levels. You know what you need to know what your level is, and you can get that checked with your doctor to know how much you should take, and then if it's actually working. Um, if you don't know what your levels are to begin with, then you won't know did it actually work. What are your levels afterwards? And so it makes sense, you know, to get it checked with your doctor. Most vitamin and mineral deficiencies you have are actually going to show up on blood work with your doctor, so you don't randomly be need to, needing to take vitamins and minerals and just putting stuff in your body. The second one is vitamin B12 deficiency. Now, if you're strictly vegan or strictly vegetarian, you may be vitamin B12 deficient. Not if you're a flexi vegan or flexi vegetarian, which I know is also very popular these days, but actually if you are strictly vegan and even some strict vegetarians will end up being vitamin B12 deficient. Now, even though vitamin B12 is a relatively safe vitamin, again, it doesn't mean you should just randomly be taking it because how will you know if it actually works? Um, you should get your levels checked first and then you know get them checked afterwards to know that this is actually working because what if you have other things going on or absorbing issues, um, you know, you won't know if you don't actually know what your levels are to start with. I know it's also very popular to take vitamin B12 to give you more energy, but that really doesn't make any sense. If you don't have enough energy, um, maybe you should find out why. If you're not vitamin B12 deficient and you feel like the supplement makes you feel better, then I would question what is actually in the supplement. Um, the, as you might know, the FDA doesn't regulate vitamins and supplements, so they can have anything they want to in there. And a lot of times they have caffeine and sugar in them, and that's what gives you more energy. You know, it may have enough caffeine in it that you know you're, it's similar to you drinking an extra shot of espresso. So um, just because it makes you feel like you have more energy you know if you're not vitamin b12 deficient that doesn't really make any sense um, you don't need more and more vitamin b12 um, just to feel better um, you should actually probably find out what's actually wrong with you now, if you really do need vitamins and minerals, what I recommend um, to my family and my patients is that, you know, they take ones that are verified by a third party organization like the USP. I don't have any affiliation with them, but because vitamins and minerals are not regulated by the FDA, um, it's important that you take ones that are um, regulated or verified by somebody. And I recommend the ones that are verified by the USP, but there are other organizations that also um, verify vitamins and minerals, but they should be verified by someone. So you know that you're not just randomly putting stuff in your body and you don't know what it is or maybe it doesn't even have anything in it um, and that doesn't make any sense either so you should take ones that actually you know someone has verified that this has what it says it has in it that's all for today for more science backed health and nutrition tips you can follow me on instagram healthy with dr Manali, or subscribe to my youtube channel dr Manali desai or follow me on twitter dr Manali desai i'll see you next time